on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, now back to two Americas. And LeBron was wearing a shirt last night, a T-shirt that said, do you understand now? I hope some people do. I, I hope some people are at least beginning to. But yes, you, you live in two Americas. But as I said yesterday, what happened at our Capitol building wasn't exactly about two Americas. Two Americas was George Floyd and Breonna Taylor mm -hmm. and name the, the long list. It, it's about all the unarmed black men and women who either got killed or wounded by white cops. Right. That, that's two Americas to me. Right. This went somewhere else. Well, Skip, this, I think, Skip when, when you hear him say two Americas, we hear the lens, we saw the lens that the cops went through not to use deadly force, okay, not right. to be confrontational. Okay, now, now let's get back to what happened. Okay, just, just to frame this. Okay. Help me out here. If some random group of white people had showed up on Wednesday, unaffiliated with Donald Trump, maybe they were, they were anti-Trump. Right. Maybe they had a different cause. I brought up the other day, you know, cruelty to animals. I don't right. know, just yeah. throw something mm -hmm. in. Just, just a bunch of crazed okay. white people. Mm -hmm. And they attempted to storm the Capitol building. What would happen to that group of white people? Help me out. They would have gone nowhere. Trust me. It is an impenetrable fortress. Yes. It is heavily, it's as heavily guarded as the White House or Fort Knox. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because it's full of senators and representatives. Yeah. They're who, lawmakers. Are, they're, they're, who, who are prime targets for terrorism, yes. right? Yes. It's heavily guarded. Yes. So if any group, black, white, name the color, if they tried, independent of Donald right. Trump, trust me, they're gonna get nowhere. Now, is it more likely that black people would be gunned down in the streets? Yeah, I'll give you that. Right. But trust me, the white people wouldn't have gone anywhere. And, and if the white people had showed up brandishing weapons, oh, th there would have been bloodshed. Right. Trust me. Right. These white people, at the beck and call of that president, just to remind everybody, he called them together. He tweeted a month ago. Yep. Come to D.C. on January 6th. It's going to be a magical day. It's going to be, th this is right. groundbreaking, right. right? And he he asked them to be wild, as I just said in the mm -hmm. tweet, and then he stirred them up by going to the links of saying, I want you to walk down to the Capitol, and this is his quote as he spoke to that group. He spoke for over an hour mm -hmm. there in a park near the White House. Correct. Fight like hell. He, he told these people to fight yes. like hell. And again, they're mostly white. There are a few black people who Sprinkle Trump supporters yeah, sprinkled in, but just for the record, okay. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> he's telling them to fight like hell. And then his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, takes the platform and he said, let's have trial by combat. They're, they're inciting these people yes. to go, go yes. storm the Capitol yes. building. Yes. yes. You're kidding me. You're culpable for that, Skip. What? I mean, Charles Manson did not actually kill anybody. No, but. But he hey. instructed and cited, and he got the exact same sentence okay, the others got. Okay, so uh, early this morning, uh, I click on a story from the Washington Post that says, the top federal prosecutor in D.C. said Thursday that President Trump was not off limits in his investigation in the, the FBI's investigation of these events. Right. Uh, you talk about culpable. I believe he's going to get tried for this. Yes. He might be convicted because he's about to lose power. What, Skip, that's why he fought so hard, because he knows the exposure. The presidency protected him from a lot. Even the federal courts have said, even the Supreme Court said that while he's in office, he's normally protected against lawsuits because you, you don't want the president. Okay. He needs to be able to do his daily business. Right. But no longer when he has the cloak of security I, with that. I got it. Well, well, this is a federal offense. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so he could go to jail for yes. this. And w why did he suddenly stand down yesterday and sort of the first time concede the election results? He knows. And why did he call it a heinous attack on our Capitol? Because he realized he had stepped in it yes. the day before. Yes. He was at high risk, yes. legal risk, yes. as is Rudy Giuliani and everybody who participated in inciting and then enabling. And I don't know this for a fact, but you can't tell me that there wasn't some order from the top for, for those people guarding that Capitol to stand down. Yes. Well, the, 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 the National Guard was supposed to... Was, it was supposed to be there. And where was it? They didn't come. Okay. And it was reported that Vice President Mike Pence had to say, send in the National Guard. Now, 
unless the president is incapacitated, the vice president doesn't have the authority to do that. <sighs> so that lets you know. Okay, so to me, <sighs> these people had no weapons. They weren't brandishing. Yeah. Wouldn't it require to, to storm the, the Capitol building? Wouldn't it require high-powered rifles and, and automatic weapons and bazookas? The mere fact, they had no weapons. Nope. They were allowed to sashay, waltz into the Capitol. And every policeman there got a baton, got mace, yep. got, a, got a firearm. Right. right. So if they don't have any weapons, and I got... Skip, if you don't have a weapon, and I got a weapon, you can't come through me you unless I let you in. That's correct. So either they were Trump supporters, which is highly possible, yeah. oh. or there was an order to stand down and allow them to go in and, and threaten and sort of bully right. these lawmakers, right? Yes. Especially the Democrats, yes. right? Yes. Okay, so that's what was happening. Now, once they got inside, just for the record, the internal security, which I think is a little different than the external right. Uh, they started to have some big problems right. deep inside once they invaded right. the Senate chambers, right, in right? and, and Nancy Pelosi's office and right. other offices. They started to have big problems because four of them died. Right. Let's be careful with this. Because but only one, only one died, I think, in the at building itself. The young lady was shot, who's a former. I vet. thought they died inside, but maybe. Well, I'm I know, wrong. Uh, I know, uh, one of the police officers. He ended up dying yesterday. Okay, that's another one. But right. I'm talking about four of the invaders okay. died. For, for, and again, that blood should be on that man. That's yeah. just me. It yeah. should be on that man's hands. Of course. Okay, but but in the end, th this wasn't about racial injustice as much as, as this was about a president who was so corrupted by absolute power that that he tried to turn our nation into a dictatorship. Of course. By overthrowing the incoming political party. That's what he was that trying was to elected. do. That right, was that elected. That was duly and fairly elected. Okay, isn't that what's going yes, on here? Yes, that's what was going on. And the Republican Party was by, standing by. And you know it starts with the Senate, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham and Ted oh. Cruz and all those guys, John Cornyn from Texas. Skip, they were standing by. Josh Hawley. Oh, my goodness. Why would you, Skip, do you understand how hard it's going to be to get back that the elections are fair? and that your vote counts? Do you understand what they've actually done? See, I, I, I don't realize, I don't think they realize what they've actually done to the process of democracy in America. Because, because they said I, it was I, rigged. I agree. You lost. It wasn't, you can skip, I can't win the game. Man, they go, you know what? I'm getting ready to play a game. Man, if we don't win, they cheated. Well, what happens, Shannon, if y'all win? Man, we beat a bad square. We were the better team. And that's what he did. He started that foolishness. Well, if I don't win, it's rigged. And people started to skip. They believe him. And you, people are like, well, I could, there ain't no way I could ever get caught up in a cult. Skip, this is as close to a cult like this is as close to Jim Jones as you'll ever, ever to see. Totally agree. It is horrifying. It is. It's the biggest threat to our democracy since, since others declared war. Now, this is an internal war, yes. right? Yes. And what he, Skip, what he found out, that that cancer, which is race, is still the quickest way to drum up that base. Because somehow he's convinced the majority that you are the minority, that you have that something has been taken from you. People need to understand, Skip, because if I get rights, I'm not taking the rights from you. I'm just getting what rightfully belongs to me from the beginning. Yep. It's not like Skip. I'm trying to get. A, I'm trying to get money, but I'm stealing your money. I'm just. I just want the job that I have to pay me the same compensation that it pays someone. Of, if if I got the same degree and same qualifications, yep. give me the same amount of money. He's convinced them.